curse happened, and God's like, whoa, I built a really cool house. How the hell do I get into that thing? <laughs> I know, I know. I'll evolve myself, and I'm getting in. Right? So God found the right mix of water and salt crystals to get just the energy just right and get a bunch of little multicellular organisms. It's great. Super, super stuff is happening. So, you know, evolution, everything's good. See, it's just fantastic. God's having a great time. And eventually, God got another brilliant idea. This is one of my favorite ideas. So, take a sphere, and if you twist it like that, you get infinity. Woo! Damn, that's cool. Because all higher lore life forms are based on this. All higher life forms are based on this right here. Infinity loops. Your body is nothing but infinity loops. So let's, let's combine some of the early geometry, which was a spiral. How do you look when you're in the womb? Your spine is a spiral, actually. It's been unfolded. It's been straightened out. So God took a spiral, straightened it out, and then stacked a bunch of infinity loops on it. And this was when God moved from playing with radial symmetry in living beings into bilateral symmetry in living beings. This was the transition when God invented infinity loops. That is what all higher organisms on this planet exist according to this energetic model of an unwound spiral with stacked up infinity loops on top. And that is the energetic structure of our physical being. So then God started playing with these. <laughs> Bam! And we got some like big mean dinosaurs and stuff. It was like running around. It's like, oh, this is sweet. Man, I'm so strong. I can just go around and just, ah, just tear myself up. You know, I can eat and just oh, I can fly and swim in the ocean. Sweet. Not too great, though. Huh. How many of you know that? Then God got an even better idea. <laughs> Dimethyltryptamine. DMT. Divine moments of truth. 